guys welcome back all right ah uh, can i say all right today's video is going to be a little bit controversial um i've wanted to do this video for the longest time um i didn't really want it to come across as like a rant but i just feel like i wanted to talk about it because i feel like it's something that needs to be spoken about now on my other channel i have done a video which was kind of along these same lines but not really the same thing but today i want to make it more specific the title of today's video is why does everyone hate the airways now i am ewe maybe not so obvious i don't know but i am ewe and one thing i've come to realize especially as i've started doing um a lot more social media type stuff especially the youtube channel i've come to realize that I get some really nasty comments sometimes and a lot of those comments actually refer to the fact that I'm Ewe, this silly Ewe girl, this blah blah blah, do you, do you, I mean I don't need to listen more, in fact if I can find the comments I'll put them on the screen right here. Like I get a lot of that and first at first I thought it was maybe just me, maybe it's a personal thing, you know in life sometimes there are people that like you and there are people that don't like you and that's fair enough, you know, not everyone's going to like you, it's just a part of life, you accept it and move on, you know, but I feel like it's always quite specific now i wouldn't say would i say this tribalism in ghana not necessarily but i do believe that a lot of tribes do support their own and there's nothing necessarily wrong with that but i feel like there's always like i've never seen a comment on youtube where someone says oh this stupid ashanti guy or something i've never come across i could be wrong but i've never come across that but i know from even like other YouTubers who are Ewe as well, they get a similar thing where people are, are always insulting at the fact that they are Ewe. And what I want to know is, what is the reason for this? Like, why do people have such a distaste for Ewe? I don't really see what, what the issue is here. Um, I'm picking my words very carefully because, obviously, as I said, this is a very controversial video. And, um, but I feel like it's, it's, it's important to address it. And even other people that I've even spoken to who are like even part aware whatever, they see the same thing and it seems to be like something that goes on. I'm not I'm not hundred percent sure what it is. And this is not me saying taking fixed person saying, Oh, it's because you're aware, that's why you're saying it. It's not so, it's not true. It's something that has been going on for a while now, especially as you know the YouTube channel grows and you get more people coming in and they watch your videos and stuff like that. You'll see that the insults seem to come, and you're like, what? What is? What is the person's problem? For me, I personally don't care where a person is from. You could be, as I said before in a previous video, you know, my husband's not even Ewe. You know, he's Ga and Fanti. He's a mix of the two. You know, like I would never even think to even. It wouldn't even come across my head, oh, let me see if this person is Ewe before we, I can become friends with them or whatever. I d like, I really don't care what tribe you're from. Are you a good person? That's what I want to know. And that's that for me is all you really need to know, you know. The only time that I'd perhaps say to someone, oh, are you Ewe, is maybe if I think, oh, maybe they're Ewe, maybe they could teach me something because I've been trying to, like, learn the language a bit a bit more. So that's perhaps the only reason I would even ask someone, oh, are you Ewe? Otherwise, I really don't really care which tribe you are from I, it's neither here nor there to me i care about you know what's in the heart not what where you're from but i don't know there just seems to be this thing and I don't, I don't know what it is i would really love to know um what causes this hatred and okay maybe hatred is wrong maybe hatred is the wrong word but what what causes this distaste for towards airways that um a lot of people seem to have i don't understand like anytime i've done a video that has been anything remotely tribal not tribalistic even remotely um touching on culture i guarantee in the comment section i'm gonna have at least one at least one comment where someone's gonna say something you know i've spoken about languages before and everybody's like you should learn tree you should learn tree i'm not saying there's anything wrong with learning tree i would definitely love to learn tree but i feel like at the moment um because i can understand the airway i feel like i'm so much closer to being being able to speak the airway so i might as well finish that one before i start another one but some people take it very personally the fact that i don't speak tree they feel like i can't make it in ghana they feel like you know um um i made a video recently talking about jobs and someone said well how are you gonna fit in if you don't speak the language but actually i don't even see how that is even a part of anything because 
most workplaces you go to they speak English anyway so I don't see how that would necessarily be a major disadvantage for me yes it would be a bit irritating sometimes if like ah oh, everybody's speaking to you and I can't understand I would love to learn you know but it's just you know it's something that I will eventually get around to do it to doing I really want to do it but I don't think that that is something that should enable someone to hurl insult, insults because you can't speak tree or whatever you know so i don't know i think it's an, just an interesting video to do i'd really be interested to hear your thoughts on it as well are you aware have you ever had insults because you're aware that kind of thing um i feel like times have changed a lot from things that happened years ago um and so i'm not really sure what the whole issue is now um for those of you that perhaps don't know maybe i should touch on it a, a little bit hopefully i won't get in trouble for doing this video but back in the days a lot of our people or this is what i've been told i can't say this is a matter of fact this is what i have been told i've been told that back in the day a lot of our people were known for um going to shrines and stuff like that so um, if you did an Ewe person wrong, they would go to a shrine in order to sort the thing out. And that brought a lot of distaste for people, but it's not something that I can say I've ever experienced for myself. And it's not something that I can say I've ever, I've never even come into contact with such a thing before in my life. So for me, I'm just here living my life. I don't even know. You know, like even before I came to Ghana, when I was in the UK, I never even thought... It never even crossed my mind to say, oh, well, you know, because I had a lot of Ghanaian friends, I had Nigerian friends, you know, we were all like just one. And it never ever occurred to me to think, oh, you know what, oh, you're, uh, yeah, you're Ghanaian, but you're this type, you're this Ghanaian, you're Ga, or you're Fanti, or you're Chi, or whatever. You know, like, I genuinely did not know that there is a difference, and it never even occurred to me. All I would recognise is that, oh, my friends, oh, they speak, they speak Chi. And that was as far as it went. I was like, oh, I wish I spoke tree. Like, I could understand it. You know, that was as far as it went. It never crossed my mind to ever think, oh, ah, actually, let me see if I can find someone else who's at work and then maybe we'll be, you know, we'll do our own thing. Like, I mean, I don't understand that that whole thing um, of making friends on the basis of where they're from or anything like that. I really don't care. To be honest with you, um, a lot of the people that I would say I click with here are not even anywhere anyway. <laughs> they're not even anywhere i mean like that's a whole nother video anyway but the people that i would say that um i could call on for certain things are not even are not, are not even anywhere they're completely different they're like it's not something that even it doesn't even like cross my mind you know the other day i was saying to a friend that man i need to spend more time around you because the way you guys are speaking tree all around me if you give me some one two times i'll i'll pick it up i'll learn it you know like so i'm very much like that i don't know anyway i can't speak for everybody i know that i'm like that but i know that there are people who would like to only stick to perhaps maybe stick to their tribe or maybe that's their circle of friends and it just happens to be that way you know maybe we're back in the days when they were in school they had a certain click and the certain click was all airways or all fanties or whatever it is what so maybe there's that that kind of thing but honestly I me mean, i didn't know that i don't know it's anything like that like for me as long as your heart is right you're a good person i got no issues with you you know what i'm saying so you know honestly speaking i really don't care where a person's from i would never think to myself oh you know when i was in the uk i would never think oh i wonder if this person is scottish or irish because we you know english or british or whatever we english people we don't like the irish or the scottish or like man it just sounds it just sounds crazy it just it seems like such a backward logic like to not like someone because of the particular tribe that they were born into like that's crazy like I think we've got enough division in the world. There's enough things to divide us because I'm sure, even if you look at the Ewe tribe, I'm sure we can even divide ourselves further and say that, okay, well, you're, um, you're Togo Ewe, you're um, Volta region Ewe. Like, it's, it's like you can divide so many times, so many times, so many times. It just becomes, it just becomes useless. That means then stick to your own family. Like, I don't know. I mean, I don't know if you guys can actually hear what I'm saying, but for me, it just doesn't make sense. Where's a, where a person's from? I really don't care. What's your upbringing like? What kind of person are you? Are you a nice person? Are you not a nice person? Just let me know. That's, that's all I need to know. I don't need to know anything further. It doesn't affect my decision to like you as a person. And if you're one of these people that likes to comment on people's videos or on people's um, social media platforms and insult them just because of the fact that they are airway, you need to really get a life, honestly. You need to um, find something to do. 
Yeah, you really need to find something to do because it's it's it just to me sounds so simple minded. The fact that you would not like someone because of something so petty, something that the person even has absolutely no control of. It's ridiculous. But anyway, I think I've done enough of um I didn't really want it to be a rant, I wanted it to be more of a discussion, so um I think I'm gonna leave the video right there. So yeah, I would be really interested to know if you guys have experienced anything similar, um, whether you're aware or not, have you noticed it? Um, I don't know. Let me know. If you're one of those people that make such comments, I would love, love, love for you to comment and let me know the reason behind why you say what you say. Maybe educate me. Maybe I'm the one who needs education. So educate me. I'm always open to that. Listen, I'm always open to constructive criticism. I'm not open to insults, okay? There's no need for insults. We're all adults here. So it's just an open discussion that I would love to have. And um, yeah, so let's talk, guys. Let's talk. Anyway, I think that's the end of the video for me today. Um, if you haven't already subscribed, please do me a favour and hit the subscribe button for me and the notification bell. And don't forget to do me a favour and like this video so more people get to see it. I would appreciate it very much. Until next time, I am out. Naughty.